Absolutely. Uh, there's no other field that is changing the world like this. There's only one that's even close, which is biology. And, you know, those guys are kind of geeks, too, it's just more with uh, test tubes and DNA sequences than uh, machine code. But software has not solved the tough problems. You know, eventually, uh, machine learning, all this natural interface, we're going to make these things so that the economy is different, so that learning is different, uh, so that the whole way you, you look at entertainment is different. And we're just touching the surface of it. You can see it a bit in photography, a bit in music, some of the demonstrations with TV. Uh, you didn't mention Xbox 360. That's oh. kind of a, a fun... <laughs> well, we were going to end through. the interview uh, on that. Uh, all right. Is there an uh, Xbox that's going to play? Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't had my hands on a 360 yet. <laughs> uh, neither do I, but uh, I'll probably get one in a month or two years. Yeah. So, uh, okay. you know, when you look at that high-definition entertainment, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be very different. And software geeks are the people who get to make those breakthroughs. Yeah. Um, as I've been uh, meeting with, uh, yesterday I met with the networking team and uh, I met with the Indigo team, or, or what is it now called, Windows? Communications frame. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm still learning all the new yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um Why does Microsoft invest so much in connecting in connected systems, connecting t technologies like that? Well, most of what we do is just a platform for other software developers who understand the the vertical or the solution they're trying to come up with better than we do, but we can make it so they don't have to write nearly as much code. And over time, you know, things like printer drivers, graphics interface, you know, you used to have to build those into applications. Now, you, of course, you, you don't do those. But when it came to uh, software running on two different computers and how you would uh, send lots of data back and forth and get it in the right order and get it to be secure, uh, and if one fails, know how to recover from that. There was a ton of code and applications having to do with all this kind of queuing and security. Yeah. Very complex. And what we're doing with this communications framework is taking that whole area and saying, here's a set of capabilities and you just select the ones you want. Instead of us just having a very heavyweight protocol that tries to do all those things, you select in the capabilities and then your applications gets a runtime from us that relieves you of having to get involved in that. So with the internet now moving away from just being a presentation network with HTML and being a data network where any piece of software can talk to any other piece of software, primarily using XML, having that communications part of the program work the right way, yeah. uh, be reliable, that's become super important. And so this invention of the communication framework and all these web services, WS this and that around it, it's very timely. It's it's taking the connectivity and letting software use that connectivity. Yeah. Um, I asked Steve Ballmer when I interviewed him. You know, what? It's hard to come up with hard questions because <laughs> you've heard every question in the know, book. I right? don't know. What would be the question you would be ask, asking if you were in my chair of the guy who started Microsoft? Yeah. Well, it's. You know, people often talk about, have we seen the, the best days in software? And, uh, you know, I know that's not the case. Uh, it is interesting that in some ways, in terms of uh, the field of study, people going into college, uh, software is not uh, as big as it, as it used to be. Uh, there are a lot of questions about, uh, will these software jobs be uh, as interesting? Will they be primarily in the United States? Or, you know, should people worry about where they'll be elsewhere. Um, you know, that's a tough question people ask and, and I'm always uh, very clear that you know, the really uh, most complex work is being done here in this country and uh, you know, we're going to have people everywhere, a China lab, an India lab, and get them working together using the, the effect of software. So uh, I have a, a college tour uh, this year. I did one last year. I'm going to another six campuses to really get people invigorated about uh, the opportunities that, that we've all got. How, how, do you, how do you want to be remembered? Well, I don't think uh, being remembered is important. I don't think it's a good uh, way to decide what you want to do. I mean, for me, uh, I, you know, every day I want to make sure I'm uh, 
motivating people and hopefully sharing some good ideas or you know, if a product's not very good, hopefully telling them how uh, some positive way they can, can make it better. And then you know, having long-term goals around the empowerment of, of software and, and what the software industry should be able to do for people. It's always re-energizes re me when I go into a school and see how kids are using software or I go uh, to where people have disabilities and see that or through my foundation work if I go to a hospital in Africa and see that software is letting them uh, find out new techniques or share the data about what's going on there and get, getting that back to experts in the rest of the world. Uh, you know, I see software being this incredibly magical thing and uh, so it you know reinforces the idea of uh, yeah, we're kind of on the right track and we should stay true to it, work, work super hard, continue to bring in the best people who can uh, deal with these things. I do think the you know, creation of the PC and the software industry around it uh, was a, uh, an incredible opportunity that we got to be there at the very beginning and I, I think you know, that will be remembered that there was a PC and that computers once upon a time were just these scary things that you would think, gosh, I better, you know, fold or staple these cards I get in the mail because these bad guys are using these computers against me. Even today, the issues of privacy and security are coming up and uh, it's going to take a lot of software invention to deal with those, those the right way. And so, uh, you know, I hope people don't remember spam. I hope they don't remember the complexity. Uh, you know, I hope they, they see that we've solved those things and, and never think about them again. What would you ask me? Well, I'd say, uh, you know, thanks for doing such a good job in blogging and this uh, video <laughs> stuff of uh, getting people to know uh, some of the, the great developers here at Microsoft so that their energy and their desire to do things better you know, it gets out there. When you think of a company as just sort of this amorphous large thing, uh, you know, it's kind of so impersonal and it's like everything they do must have some weird reason that they're doing it. But then when you come in and meet the people, it's like, oh, they, you know, that's why they did it that way. Okay, and they do feel bad about this thing doesn't work right. They really are, they really are gonna fix that. Or, oh, maybe even it makes more sense than I thought. So letting people have a sense of the, the people here uh, and you know as people get to know the people here maybe they'll tell us more about uh, how we can in, improve our products. Having that connection, we've always believed in that and now through uh, blogging, channel line, you know we're hopefully reaching out to an even broader set of people to you know talk about where we're going and have them uh, feel like they're a part of it. Uh, you know I know the PDC will be a great milestone in that but it, it's something we believe in every day. To end up, do you ever come on Channel 9? Uh, I, I haven't been on Channel 9 as much as I'd like to be. Uh, you know, and and I, I know it's a good thing you're getting out and getting the people who really write the code, not us, <laughs> us executives. Because that's, you know, that, I'm sure your, your viewers want to meet people who really uh, do the stuff. So I, I, you know, I think you're doing it the right way, but I'm, I'm always available. Thank you. Thanks for spending some time with us. You bet.